Good morning everybody. Dr. Pradeep Srinivasan from Bangalore. The recently started Fetal Echo multiple module online course had its first episode in Jan 24. It was a great success with more than 250 participants and a lot of queries have come in as to how it would be going forward. So I will show you today a small case and you will understand that going forward how this fetal echo course will be and how you can become very good in unraveling fetal echo abnormalities. So here on the left side I am going to run a four chamber view in sepia. So you can see that the apex is pointing to the left and that's the four chamber view. The four chambers are having approximately equal size. The four chambers are showing good contraction that is called as the squeeze. The position of the heart is normal. There is a levocardia with the axis pointing to about 30 degrees from the sagittal plane. The apex is formed by the left ventricle. Now I will show you another heart. Look at this four chamber view. It is not at all normal, isn't it? At the first look, it looks very complex and looks very difficult. Now compared to the other four chamber view, if you see here, this is the left, this is the right and the apex is to the left. The first observation you need to do is that the chambers are not normal in morphology. The atrium looks as if there is one single large cavity. You can see here this atrium has got an LA and a RA separated by a foramen ovale complex. So here you have septum primum, here you have the flap of septum primum, here you have the septum secundum and you can see that the flap is opening into the left atrium. On the contrary, here if you see there is no normal appearance of the fossa ovalis and it looks like a single atrium. But on close scrutiny you can see here there is a foramen ovale like structure. We are not sure whether this is the foramen ovale, whether this is a small right atrium and this is a large left atrium. Now look at the appendages. Now here we have the right atrial appendage which is broad based and here you have the left atrial appendage which is narrow finger like with a smaller base. Now look at this. This is a finger like narrow appendage and this also is a finger like narrow appendage. So the left side of the atrium has a left sided appendage. The right side of the atrium also has a left sided appendage. So this gives us the clue that we may be dealing with left atrial isomerism. Then we look at the pulmonary veins. You can see that the left pulmonary vein and the right pulmonary vein open into the left atrium and you can see that the right pulmonary vein is to the left of the septum secundum which is normal. Now look at the pulmonary veins here. Both the pulmonary veins are close to each other and both of them appear to open into the mid part of the atrium. So there is a small variation in anatomy. Now look at the valves. So we have a crux, we have an apical insertion of tricuspid valve, we have a basal insertion of mitral valve and we have two normally opening and closing atrioventricular valves. Now see this case. 
we find only one opening and closing atrioventricular valve which is on the left side. So this is possibly a left atrioventricular normal valve. What is happening to the right valve? The right sided atrioventricular valve is significantly thickened and ecogenic and not opening at all. So you can see that there is no opening and closing of the right atrioventricular valve saying that there is an atresia of the right atrioventricular valve and a normal left atrioventricular valve. Coming to the ventricles, we have a normal interventricular septum and we don't have any gap or deficiency in the interventricular septum. Here we have a large deficiency of the interventricular septum. We have something like a membranous septum but both the ventricles appear to communicate widely across a large VSD. Okay? So this is a complex cardiac anomaly which looks like a single atrium. There is a doubt that there could be a small right atrium and a large left atrium. However, both the appendages appear to be of the left atrial appendage morphology. There is a normal left atrioventricular valve. There is an atritic right atrioventricular valve. There is a large ventricular ventricular septal defect. Now you have seen this video for a long time. I do not know how many of you have observed the iota normally is on the left side. So this is the left atrium, that is the iota, this is the normal relationship of left atrium and iota. You can see here this looks like the large common atrium, this is the left side and you can see that this is the spine and the iota is on the right side. So here you have the iota on the right side. So the descending thoracic iota is on the right side. This case had a situs up inverses abdominis and iota was on the right side. So like this step by step we can unravel the anatomy of the heart. Each part of the heart has to be studied properly and then the connections have to be assigned and this case will get much more findings once we move from the four chamber view into the five chamber, three vessel, three vessel tracheal view, outlets etc which we will be dealing with in great detail during the multiple module fetal echo course. Lot of students and radiologists have contacted me saying that since the mod course has already started, is there any scope to join? Only the first module has happened and the recording will be given to people who join subsequently also. Another 10 more modules are there and fetal echo will be taught in great detail in all these modules. Hundreds of similar cases will be shown to you. Lot of detailed teaching will happen. Those who want to join, this course is run by Mediflick and you can look into mediflick.com or you can uh, write to me in or you can whatsapp me my number is 98441-29465 interested people can google mediflick m-e-d-i-f-l-i-c-k fetal echo master course by dr pradeep srinivasan you will get all the details you need and even though the first module is over you will get a recording of the first module you can catch up with that and then continue learning for the next 10 modules thank you very much happy learning jai hind